Everyone, welcome to the close of July 25th. We had some earnings coming out. Uh, interesting that Microsoft, even though it had a beat, obviously not good enough compared to what the expectations were, selling off after the market and of course the opposite for Google. But we're going to start today's video looking at Meta, which reports on the close of July 26th. What is the most interesting thing about this chart, and you have a few things here that you may not be familiar with, is number one, it reached exactly to the top of the Bollinger Band when it made its high up there at 319. Number two, it had a very clean reversal pattern. We've seen these over and over where it makes a new 60 plus day high, next day closes below the low of that day, and then gets some follow through, generally five to 10%. Number three is it's actually broken down under the Bollinger Band here. Number four is that you can see that it is underperforming the benchmark or against the SPY. Number five, in terms of the momentum, we did have the mean reversion back here. It went on to eke out a new high, and you can see that that, that re mean reversion to the sell side was good. Now we're getting a bearish divergence where it is breaking down under the 50-day moving average while the 50-day moving average here on the price chart is still much lower. And what you cannot see is the July six-month calendar range, which, by the way, looks like under 285 would be a breakdown after failing to clear the calendar range high at 318.37. So keep that range in mind because what we're really saying here is that the overall sentiment right now has been, in terms of the technicals, perhaps a top. Of course, the earnings can potentially change that, but my sense would be that there hasn't been any real tangible earnings yet. In terms of meta, certainly Threads hasn't necessarily brought in any money at this point. And the VR that they've been launching, I don't think has had any kind of record sales. So for oh, where does that come from, by the way? This is the first trading day, first trading range day of July. And um, that's a 284. You can see it's much higher here in terms of the low of yesterday. Now, how I would play this is clearly it may or may not do anything much ahead of the earnings tomorrow, but if you just wanted to do it more as kind of a day trading ahead of the fact, I would be looking, first of all, at some support here at this 293.40 level. That's right underneath the candle of today. It's also underneath the candle bodies of both of these days right here before I went on to make new highs. So I would jot that down under 293.40. 30, 40, even 293.10, we're talking about an area here. That bias to me would be negative. And of course, we can look at the Bollinger Band as a clear indication over 297.50 would be positive. And I'm speaking strictly day trading. After the report, of course, as I said, if there's a breakdown under that six month calendar range low or 284.85, I would anticipate at least a move down to the 50-day moving average, and given the momentum is now below it, possibly wow. even a move back down to around 258. At these levels now, I would actually start considering more of a position from the long side. But until then, again, bias now more to the downside. Let's move on. One thing to add about Meta is that Snapchat just reported and that was down uh, right after the report, 17%. So that also could be an indication of everything we just talked about on a negative bias towards Meta going forward. Okay, now let's flip to the more positive bias, which of course is in crude oil. Uh, yesterday's video, I mentioned that we had to clear in momentum the zero line. We did that. I mentioned we had to confirm two days close over the 200-day moving average. We did that. I mentioned that we really had to get through $80 a barrel. We did not do that. So that makes tomorrow very easy. At this point now, we need to look at that 80 as the key. Should we cross that? Again, I think we'd be looking more at 84, possibly even higher than that. 
should we not be able to get through 80 then I would basically be saying at this point I would watch what happens here at 7870 so I would have a negative bias under 7870 for a day trading looking at a move back down to about 7650 77 a positive bias over 80 looking for at first a move closer to 8150 82 and then from a longer standpoint, really looking at a move as we saw yesterday, not only over 83.50, but levels that we have not seen in a while. So if we go back to, let's say, uh, a year ago, November. Moving on to gold. So reminder that if it did not break two days in a row under the 50-day moving average, it is not a confirmed phase change. In this case, it would have been to a caution phase. Instead, now we can say we are back to an unconfirmed bullish phase. And I say unconfirmed because the same thing. It has to have two closes over the 50. Looking at the momentum, I don't see much. A little bit of a pop here from the day before, but also needs to do more. And we're still seeing a bit of a bearish divergence here in momentum because here's your 50-day moving average in the real motion indicator yet we're above it in price we like to see both together really for the most explosive moves so looking at tomorrow right now what i would say is again let's use that 50-day moving average as the pivotal area so that would mean to me that 1960 exactly what we talked about for coming into today is still going to be a bias below negative a bias above positive. You can see 1950 has been holding up relatively well. If we continue to break from there, then I think we'd have a little bit more of a sharper decline. Of course, we have the FOMC coming out. And on the flip side, if 1960 maintains, A, we need a second close above it, and B, from a trading, trading standpoint, over 1967, I would think that this will continue to rise, at least to get back up to that 1980 level we've been watching before we reevaluate. And finally, let's take a look at the SPX. So here we have, folks, the SPX. And I think the most interesting thing we can say about the chart is first of all from a closing basis you're going to see that we have new closing here our new 50 day two week high closing but what's more interesting to me was that the high from this day was 4578.43 and the high from today was 4580.62 so we did make the high a new high today. However, look where we closed. We closed, remember I said the high here was 4,578. We closed under the old high, under today's high, which means that we are, we are potentially right for a little bit of a sell-off in the S&P. So what would we be watching for? First of all, I would say you can just look right now that this 4,565 level is pivotal, above bullish, below bearish and of course you know I'm talking very short time frame we break below it I would be looking first of all at the support at around 4,537 and then if we break down even under that obviously 4,520 would be next and we really do have support pretty much all the way down what we don't want to see is this gap get filled from when it gapped up this day at this point now we are thinking a correction might even be a little bit healthy we have still no mean reversion on the Bollinger Band in the actual real motion momentum indicator but certainly that would be something that I would be watching for as well now if we get through this level at 4567 then obviously not only would we potentially be looking at a new 52 week high but once again we've got to go back a little bit here in history to see where we've been and the last major resistance was up I would even go a little bit lower 4600 so that's kind of I don't expect to see that in one day although you never know but that would be the next area I would be looking at for some level of resistance as spectacular as this move up has been if we go back you can see we still have a lot of areas to look at for problems going back to when we peaked at the end of 2021 Okay, that's it for now. Hope you have a good day tomorrow. Hope this was helpful, and I'll speak to you all again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.